Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobs, a board certified psychiatrist. I want to talk about uh, catastrophic thinking for a second. This is where uh, you uh, get a fear thought and you expand on that fear thought and you build it up and make it even more and more terrible until finally it's a, just a horrendous, frightening nightmare of a situation that you anticipate facing someday. And the thought of it is so anxiety provoking and overwhelming that you become paralyzed and demoralized and depressed and anxious and terrified and you can't do anything and you need, you need to take medication. Uh, it's, it's terrible. And the terrible thing is that uh, you uh, are just terrorizing yourself. You have just invented uh, you know, a horror story for yourself that most likely won't happen. Now, there's always a possibility that it will happen, but most likely it won't happen. And you've just terrorized yourself and ruined your present moments every single day, one day after the next, uh, for no good reason. Uh, and it doesn't help anything. It doesn't help to alter the situation just by being scared of what might be. Okay, so for example, if you, uh, let's say you lose your job and, uh, and you're looking for work and, uh, and, you spent two months uh, sending out resumes and posting jo on uh, resumes to jobs online, etc., and you're not getting a bite at all. And then you start to get really demoralized and depressed and really scared, and you start to think, you know, I'm not good. I'm never going to get a job, uh, you know, and uh, I I'm going to not be able to make payments on my house. I'm going to become uh, homeless. I you know I'm never going to have a family. I'm never good. I'm going to die alone in poverty. It's going to be terrible. And, uh, you know, and there you are, you, know, you, you have invented this entire, uh, you know, drama and then reacted to it as if it's real. And so uh, you got to you, what you got to do is you got to stop that. You got to stop the catastrophic thinking, the cascade of fear thoughts. You got to cut it short. Time out. Stop. And, you know, and go, what's the evidence or data that because uh, it's two months, I haven't been able to get a job that I never will. And then all this other crap will happen. Well, there is none. All you know is that you spent two months and you didn't get a job. You didn't get any, any callbacks or bites. That doesn't mean that the rest of your life is going to be that way. And in fact, it's not going to be that way. And in fact, if you ask other people who are struggling in the job market to get jobs, th this is the norm. Months and months, months and months, and sometimes months more of sending stuff out, getting like nowhere, and then finally you, get, you catch a break and you get a job and you're, and you're in business. And so you really need to tell yourself, you know, I'm not going to freak out. I'm going to one day at a time, I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. I'm going to keep working my program. I'm going to keep sending out resumes and, and brainstorm and network and, and do the best I can. And something will happen. And if it doesn't happen, I'll deal with it. But I'm not going to freak out and, you know, and terrorize myself now over something that hasn't happened yet and might not happen. And oftentimes I tell people, look, you know, you can, al you can always freak out. So why don't you just, you know, tell yourself, OK, I'll tell you what. I'm going to spend the next uh, six months, you know, grinding it out, working hard, looking for work, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not going to think about all the terrible things that might happen and how, uh, and how awful things are and, and how terrible and bleak my life is. I'm not going to think about any of that crap. I'm just going to totally say, no, I don't have to think about it now. I'm going to think about it in six months. So six months from now, like uh, September 8th, I'm going to, or whatever, I'm going to, uh, uh, then I'm going to reassess my situation and see if I should be terrified or not. But for the next six months, I, when the thought pops into my head, I'm just going to go, don't worry about it. I'm fine. I can, I'm, I'm going to wait six months and then I'll look at the situation and see if I want to, you know, uh, go insane or not. But, but for the next six months, I'm not going to scare myself. I'm just going to one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. I'm going to do my thing, do my best, try to enjoy my life. And, uh, and, and then in six months, I'll reassess and decide if that's the time to have a meltdown. All right. See you next time.